And I'm feeling good I'm feeling good Many times that I miss you I know how to call when I want to Now you got way bigger issues Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lomzi. I'm back again with another video. Today's sewing tutorial is how to make this trendy kaftan bubu. If that's what you want to watch, continue watching till the end and don't skip any part of this video because you're going to be skipping the main thing. Now let's get into today's sewing tutorial. So this is the fabric I will be working with. As you can see, the kind of fabrics that you can use for this is fabrics like silk, duchess, crepe, satin, chiffon. The chiffon can be thick or light. But remember, if you're using the light chiffon, is either you have to wear something on that or you make sure the, the chiffon you're using is not see-through. So whichever one, all these fabrics are able to drape. You can also use Ankara fabric. It will come out nice. That is cotton fabric. It will still come out nice, but it will not drape as these other fabrics will. So the first thing we have to do now is to determine the amount of fabric we need for this. Now for you to determine the amount of fabric you need for this, what you have to determine is, let's say this is the center front and this is the neckline. Um, okay, this is the center front like this. This is the neckline. Then the amount of fabric you will need is dependent on the, uh, the width of your shoulder from the, the center front to the where the sleeve is stopping so the first thing you have to remember this is unfold like this so the next thing you have to get is this center front to your shoulder line whatever this is then you're going to add your sleeve length so say your sleeve length is 13 inches you add your sleeve length and maybe your sleeve length stops here so say from the center front to the shoulder is eight inches then from here to the sleeve length where you want the sleeve to stop either on your elbow or your wrist wherever you want it to stop that is where this would be so in my own case i will make this 13 inches so we are going to be adding 13 inches to this and i'm going to be adding one inch so in allowance to that so eight plus 13 will give us 21 plus this one inch which would give us 22 inches so on fold i'm going to have 22 inches 22 inches times 2 would give me 44 right yes so we are going to be timesing this by 2 that is to know the total width of the fabric we need which is 88 inches so in your own case now you know use this way and know the amount of fabric you need so with this i'm going to be starting this tutorial so i have my fabric folded in four as you can see but I'm going to be separating this. I will separate this. As you can see, they are all separate now. So I'm going to be folding them wrong side out. The both of them wrong side out. And I will place each of them on each other. So many times that I miss you I know how to call when I want to Now you got way bigger issues So as you can see, I folded them into four places Now I like you to know that this is half scale, it's not the full scale I use half scale so that you'll be able to see all my pieces on the table and you know you don't get to miss anything so the measurements i'm going to be calling for you would be the measurements for actual measurements but uh, for myself i'm going to be using the half scale to make that but i am going to be calling the real actual measurements for the clients i'm working for so the next thing i have to do first of all is to get the shoulder width the shoulder width i'm making is 16 inches i'll divide that by two it will give me eight inches i'm going to mark that here I will add one inch sewing allowance to that. 
So all in all will give me 16 and that's what I have here. But remember, that's what, how we calculated to get this. Good. So let me draw this out. So now this, we're going to be using this side for our sewing allowance. So now we are going to be starting from here. So for me, I'm going to be coming down here one inch. So I'll mark that one inch here from the shoulder. Remember, this is the shoulder line. I'll come down here one inch and then from the center front, center front and back, I'm going to be coming in two and a half inches for the neck width. So I'll mark that here, two and a half inches. Now I'm going to connect these two lines. I'm going to extend this downwards. Now for the back, I'm going to be coming down. We use two and a half inches here because by the time we sew half inch away for the sewing allowance, it will now make it three inches for the neck width. So for the neck depth for the back, I'm going to be coming down 0 0.75 and I'll mark that here. I'll connect this line to it. So this would be the neck depth for the back. I hope you guys are seeing this. So this would be the neck depth for the back and this is the neck width, right? Next thing we have to get is the length of the dress. The length of dress I'm working with is 62 inches and I'm going to be adding one inch sewing allowance to that which was what you have here and which is what I have made here. Next thing I'm going to do is to get the sleeve, round the sleeve measurements. Now remember this is a one size fits all. So I'm just going to measure myself to use myself for that. So let's say my ankle, my um, elbow is 13 inches. I'm going to add three inches to that so that you know it can size any anybody that wears it. And that's usually what I do for my ready to wear. I just add three inches and it has always fitted all my clients. So 13 inches plus three inches would give me 16. I divide that by two, it will give me eight inches. And I'm going to add sewing allowance to that, which is one inch. And that's what I will mark here. Now I'm going to come in here one inch, or you can come in one and a half, dependent on what you want. And then I'm going to connect these two lines. By the time you're done sewing this, you won't even notice that something has been removed there. It's just for it to balance well. The next thing we have to do is to come to the hemline. So what you're going to do at the hemline, I've always used this for all my ready to wear and it has always worked like that. So that's standard for me. That's what I usually do. I do 14 inches on the hemline. 14 inches, that's what I use on the hemline. That way it will size anybody that wears it. I don't usually use hip measurements or anything because this is a one size fits all. It's a booboo. It doesn't need to be fitted on anyone. So I use 14 inches as standard. That way anybody can walk in it. So I'm going to mark that here. The 14 inches, I've already added sewing allowance to that. So I'm going to mark it here. And I'm going to connect this line like so. This will give me the perfect size seam that I want. So I'm going to, you know, join this this way. I hope you guys can see my markings. Oh my God. I'm not sure you guys can see. Let me just use this to make this. Since this is going to be my, where I'm cutting out from. So I'm going to do this. So remember, this is where the sleeve would come into. Let me highlight this also. Hope you guys can see this now. So this is basically it for the kaftan bubu. I've gone ahead and added half inch allowance for the joining on the shoulder. I've extended the neckline to hit the sewing allowance. So this is all we basically need. I would do now is just to first of all cut this side seam. Next I'm going to notch here where the sleeve is going to end. So next thing I would do is to cut out the neckline, the back neckline. I raise this up and I'm going to cut out the back neckline. 
now I have this like this. The next thing I have to do now is to remove this. Let me just remove this and I'll just flip this down like so. I will not take it out. I'm just flipping it down. So the next thing I will do is to come down here. Let me call it under bust, but it's not usually under bust because this is for any size. So 14 inches work perfectly for me, but I'm going to be adding half inch to that, which would make it for 15 and a half. So I would mark that here. And then from the center front, I'm going to be coming in 8 inches. Also for me, it's standard. I've been making booboo for years and this has worked for me. If you're not following me on my ready to wear page on Instagram, go ahead and follow me, Lumsy one You will see all my booboos and how they sit properly. This is what I usually do. So I will come in here 8 inches. Remember, I've already come down here 15 and a half inches and I have marks here. So here is where my belt would be so i'll mark it here I'll go ahead and do the same thing to the other side so i'm just going to place this like this and do the same thing so i flip this out again and then cut out my shoulder line for the front now for the front neckline i'm going to come in three and a half inches and i will mark that here i'll connect this line like this and i'm going to cut this out yeah with this i already now know where i'm going to be adding my belt we're going to be adding a belt to this place to give it some fitting remember guys it's not everybody that likes to use the belt some of my clients will tell me they don't want to tie the belt so it's okay if you don't tie the belt you just leave it loose so the next thing we have to do is to cut out facing for all this i made a round neckline because of the requested video the I requested got. video i got has a round neckline and it doesn't have any slit in front that's why i have made it like this but if you want slit in front for yours you're going to be adding some extra inches for the front and the front will not have any cut in front but the requested video i got had round neck don't mind the one i have on the thumbnail i'm obsessed with the v-neck i always use v-neck line for myself but the subscriber that requested this what she sent has a round neckline and that's why we are doing this so, and you are going to either cut facing for this and add facing to it or you're going to pipe it you're either going to pipe it another way you can do is to overlock this and just do it like that whichever one you want you do it first of all for the inner belt the length of the belt you should use is 30 inches and the width you're going to use is three inches just fold the three inches into two and sew it like that and turn it out and you're going to hold for any size just make sure that the length you have is at least 30 inches so after joining it like this the next thing you will do is to go ahead and place it like that after closing it you place it like this don't place it this way place it like this on it and, I, and you sew it like that go ahead and place on the other side too and hold it like that by the time the person is wearing it is like this it's going to be like this so the next thing after doing that you have to do is to go ahead and join the shoulder you go ahead and join the shoulder like that after joining it you join the two sides after joining it you will now come to the sleeve let me join that and come back and show you so this is it after sewing it remember you have taken care of the neck already before closing this so you have opened the slits and you have hemmed everything that has to do with the neck so the next thing you would do is on the sleeve remember we have already notched this you're going to go ahead and fold it like this and fold it again when you're done doing that they should look like this so you go ahead and join this with this you go ahead and join this with this all the way down so let me go to the machine now and do this let me show you again i'm going to go to the machine fold this like this and fold it again like that continue watching till the end so that i will show you how to sew the v neckline so if you haven't subscribed and you're still watching and you haven't liked this video what are you waiting for go ahead and like this video give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on my social media handles at lumsy souls both on instagram and facebook so next thing we have to do is to go ahead to close the side seam can you see guys can you see how neat this is 
So you're going to go ahead and sew it from here to close the side seam. Can you see? So you sew it from this edge all the way down. Now guys, if you want to sew the one that has slit in front, you're going to add, so if when you were cutting it, you're going to, the back will be unfold and the front will have a sewing allowance and that sewing allowance is for you to join the front seam. So what you have to do is to come down the length of the opening that you want and you're going to notch it like this. And then from here, you're going to come up how many inches you want it. Usually what I do, I from the shoulder length, I come down 38 inches. Me, that's good for all sizes. So I'll come down 38 inches and I'm going to notch it here. So what I do is to go to my machine, right side facing together. I'm going to join it. So I'm going to come in here and join it with the sewing allowance, leaving this place and that place. So as you can see, I have sewn it. Can you guys see? I had to pass a bit. Can you guys see? Yes. So that it will be easy for me to work on this. So you're going to open it out like this and you're going to iron this open. You iron all of them open. Can you guys see? Yes. Next thing you have to do is to go ahead and use your hemming gum. You place your hemming gum under this. Make sure you always overlock. This is just for this tutorial as you can see guys. So the next thing I will do is to add hemming gum to this. This will make it very very clean. So with this, you're going to have a very clean finishing, as you guys can see how it's looking very, very neat. Now, if you want to make this a V neckline, you can as well go ahead and make it a V neckline. And I will tell you guys, before you join anything, make sure you finish anything you have to do on the front before you start joining it. So if you want this to be a V neckline from the beginning, you just make it a V neckline. Depends on what you want to do. Now with these guys, I have come to the end of today's class. If you enjoyed this video, do remember to give this a thumbs up and I'll see you on my next video. Bye bye. Yeah.